The Nigerian military says it has recorded successes in the fight against insurgency, banditry, and other security threats in the country. Addressing the media at the defense headquarters in Abuja, coordinated defense media operations, Major General John Enenche, while highlighting some of the troops' engagement, said scores of both terrorists and bandits were killed with various sophisticated weapons, including rounds of ammunition recovered. Operation Lafia Adole, in this operation you recall that several members of Boko Haram terrorists and Aswad fighters, senior commanders also were neutralized, and their logistics facilities, gun trucks, and other structures destroyed, as well as recovery of several weapons. Operation Hadar and Yeah, that one, the report was 27 neutralized, and then that was along the border between Zamfara and Castina in X Prize. While in Operation West Stroke, yes, the raid at Ghana's uh, hideout took out two of them and he escaped narrowly with gunshot wounds. It was not only about the operations of the land and air troops, as the feat recorded by the Nigerian Navy was also mentioned by the defense spokesperson. On the 15th of May, a Chinese vessel MV Hellfang 2 was attacked by the pirates off the coast of Cote d'Ivoire. And what these pirates did was to divert this vessel to the Nigerian waters. They had 18 crew members on board, and immediately the Nigerian Navy was alerted. We activated our own Nigerian Navy ship, Nguru and it was dispatched to intercept the vessel that was attacked by pirates. They refused to stop. And what did we do? Our gallant naval special boat service conducted an opposed body. What do you mean by opposed body? That is combat, fight. They fought their way through, and this happened around 140 nautical miles of our waters. And they were able to subdue the pirates. Ten of them were arrested while the 18 crew members were all rescued. While commending the troops, the military high command further appealed to Nigerians to continue to provide relevant information that will help the security agencies address the nation's security concerns. Palang Booker, CNN News.